Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another video for you today. This time, it looks like we are going to Milan, Italy to look at this Lindy Hop Team competition. I believe it's from Milano Swing Team. It's their submission into the International Lindy Hop Championship virtual competition. I can't wait to see their choreography and I look forward to telling you guys what I think. So let's jump right into it. Ciao, we are the Milano Swing Team from Italy and we present our video for the Lindy Hop Team competition at ILHC. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs> Oh, this is good. It's got a good musical theater type feel to it, but it's not losing the, the swing movements. Yes! They are tight, they are tight. Ah, oh, that was syncopated, nice, nice. Lots of syncopations there. It's really hard to organize that with a team. They're nailing that. Oh, that was good. Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about it. Now I have got to admit that was really, really cool. The one thing I like about team competitions that are a little different than normal competitions is the level of focus and detail and care that has to go into the choreography. It's one thing to do choreography with your with a leader and a follower together and it's kind of three-dimensional but it's also kind of like one-dimensional where the audience can see from one angle what you're doing but with the team you have that element but you also have this very macro scale uh, perspective with choreography that you have to really take advantage of and so it's a little different to judge these types of competitions because I got to look at the choreography but I also got to look at how they did the macro choreography and how it all worked together. I gotta say, I really loved the musical theater aspect to what they were doing. 
I, that was my background in dancing. And I love the fact that they were just kind of acting out movements and kind of personifying what we were listening to and hearing with the lyrics. That was really cool. That was different. I also like the fact that there was a lot of detailed choreography. And usually with the team competitions, you don't really see a bunch of details unless it's on a macro scale. These dancers were taking a tremendous amount of time with five or six dancers doing really tight choreography and spurts. And I gotta tell you, that's really hard to do. Now I've gotta say, it's usually easier to just organize the dancers in a way where all they gotta do is move around and make cool shapes. But these dancers didn't do that. They had entire segments where there may have been like five or, or eight dancers lined up just doing really, really tight choreography. And that's really risky when you do these types of competitions because you know one or two people can be off a little bit and it kind of ruins the whole mystique of it all. But they didn't do that. Th this was really, really, really tight. I think my favorite part was this part um, where it, it wasn't actually a team aspect of it. It was just the, the couples moving in and they kind of did this little cartwheel thing. I've seen it before, but it, I've never seen it done that way. So that was a real treat. That was a real surprise to see that little movement. What did you guys think about this one? This was really cool. I like the fact that it was a team competition, but it wasn't choreographed really like a team competition. It kind of looked like maybe like three or four couples doing just a, like a mini showcase, but it wasn't organized in a way where it's like a traditional team competition. And in, in a way, I kind of like that. It actually showed me that they could do more as individual dancers in concert together, more so than just moving around and making different shapes on a macro scale. So big shout out to the Milano swing team. That was really, really cool. Really cool. Um, man, I hope, I hope I get a chance to see some more today. I've um, been pretty busy, so I got a lot of videos to look at, so stay tuned, guys. Um, if you guys wanna learn more, check out some of my free courses below. Um, check out some of the stuff that, I don't know if they have a website or not, but check them out. I'm sure they probably have a school that's there in the local area in Milan, or maybe something online, so check them out, guys. Let me know what you thought about this particular routine in the comment section below. If I don't see some of you guys' comments below, hopefully I'll see some of you in my class online. Take care.